Big 40 minutes to come for both of these teams. Australia looking to wrap up the series. New Zealand looking to take it to a decider. Let's see how this one unfolds. New Zealand, they'll be looking to start positively. And Coulson. Sycamore on the run. Nice bit of footwork here from Sycamore. Trying to get them on the outside. Still putting the ball through the hands, but the pass just didn't quite get away in time. Sammy Joe Curtis doing a good job to recover defensively. And making the touch as the pass is being affected. Aside from the late pass, a really exciting uh, start to the game for New Zealand. Let's see if they can continue to lift while they're on defence now. Nice left foot step there from Matty. Gets the Aussies on the front foot and over the halfway line. As Curtis beats it out the back to Jeffs. Gets away from one, gets away from two, almost. Nice diving effort there from Itamar Allen to make the touch. Files. With the hat backwards, feeds it to Mai Mai. As Drew, oh, throws a lovely ball to Rachel Jeffs. And Australia strike first. And they strike early to open up this picture here in game two. Continuing on from their clinical performance Rachel last Jeffs. night, a really great start here for the Australian Emus. You can see that they isolated on the right side. Uh, and just a fantastic pass here uh, from Madison Drew. 1 0 to Australia. Great start from the Aussies. Contact from my might. Strong defender in the middle here for the Emus. Has to come up and make another touch. On the run. And trying to get in. Foster. Back to the seven. Ellie Minton in half. See the combination from Charlie Foster and Minton throughout this game. Now, nice little set play and trying to feed it through to Sausage. Really compressed defence again there from Australia. Forcing New Zealand to look long. It hasn't come yet, but we'll keep an eye on that as the game progresses. Why might through the middle. You go direct on the first two touches. Now they put the ball through the hands. Why might feeds it to Rogers. Finds herself in field doing work. Dibble switching in. Duff. Nice running in. And New Zealand, you could just see that they were holding and just rolling back into the line, just trying to stop the momentum of the Australian running game on that occasion, but they end up giving the penalty away. Yeah, what they really need to be looking to do is lift in that position. As tough as it is against this side, it's really important. And we see a little error there from the Australian Emus. Incorrect play the ball, which we saw picked up a number of times in the mixed open game. The women's definitely be looking to tidy that up. Great metres going forward from the skipper, Itamata Allen. Directing traffic. Tony Parkerai picks up a penalty for her team. That's positive play from the Kiwis and really came off the back of those great meters there from Itamata Allen. Yeah, that's correct. We can see a few trends that are coming in with the referees from the open mix game as well, not moving forward calls uh, and correct roll ball calls. So that's probably something that they've had a discussion about this morning. It's going to go away from New Zealand. Possession back to Australia. But positive play. Got to continue along those lines here, the Kiwis. As Davis pumps, decides to take it herself. Well, just down the sideline, nice defensive pressure. As the changes coming on for the Australians, but they were coming on behind the halfway line and they forced the mistake, New Zealand. So they've won the last couple of sets. It's really positive play here from the touch play. Yeah, really great defensive profile there at the, the link position from Mary. She managed to get uh, in the ruck and win it against Kim Susie. Well, not an easy thing to do. Nice work just holding the ball up there for, for Corslin. As the changes are coming onto the field, Sycamore steps out, looks inside, looks outside, takes him on herself. Fifth and final touch. Excellent dive there from Kim Susie. Fifth touch now, Meg Sycamore. Looking like a real threat with ball in hand. She will receive it back, put it through the hands to Shepard. Shepard turns it back to Sycamore. Tough ball to take. Curtis takes it forward on the first touch. Good contact on Susie from Shepard. As Maddox plays it try the 10. Ball just rolling away from Rogers again. Not quite clinical when they're making changes over the last couple of sets here. Australia having to hold the ball up. My my though, straightens up the point of attack. Drew, who looked dangerous in this position last time around. Again, incorrect play of the ball. That's twice down this end of the field. The Aussies, not quite clinical in that space. 
New Zealand doing a really good job of actually lifting on that play. We saw the one prior where they just sat back and held back and got penalised. Uh, good to see them responding early. Sycamore goes direct. Contact, solid contact in my mind. She is just tough as nails in the middle and she'll get her body, arms and legs all involved in the touch. Gets possession back for her team. Loose pass there from Files. He directs the traffic back out towards Jess and Drew. We look to attack down the short side. Drew is looking dangerous in this game. Force set up the first try for the Emus. A nice little dig on the short side. And she is sending it back midfield to Jeffs. He switches in my mind. Files sweeps around the back. Jeff shows it to her. Goes into the in-goal area looking for support. Still there. They're holding off Jeff. She managed to get there over to Lucia Files. Eventually gets it done where she had an age in the in-goal area. They held off her. And Files do great work off the ball to get herself into a position to be able to score that try for the end. Yeah, if we have a look at the start of the play here, this massive gate in the middle of the field. New Zealand will be a little bit disappointed to give them that much space and time in order for Australia to score another try there over in the right corner. Even you can see Jeff's there in the end goal to show it, holding and Files finding the space eventually to get the second try on the board for the Aussies. 2-0 on the scoreboard penalty here to New Zealand moving forward off the line Yamada Allen diving in at the line Duff makes the touch back to the 7 they come standing with depth here Minton plays it Foster sweeps tries to come off the right foot just running out of space there, unfortunately for, for Charlie Foster. What they'll look to do now is just balance uh, the field of play on this attack and look to potentially go left here. Oh, great ball and a beautiful hole as well. Punching through Rebecca Tamati. Well, the skipper, she's really leading her team in this game. She's been inspirational so far. Mary Yudamari Allen, beautiful ball. Potentially sequencing the, for that setup by pushing towards the right, making Australia compress towards that left hand side and creating those open gaps on the right. Great chop line there from uh, Rebecca Tamati. Important defensive set for them here. They don't want the Australians to score back off the restart, but that's exactly what they do. Kim Susie back on the inside to Sammy Joe Curtis. A lovely constructed try there from the Australians. They go back up by two. Again, another fantastic one, try between Sammy those Joker. two players. A great touch made here by Tainui Takade, but unfortunately, she couldn't lift again to close that gate. And another great try there from Australia. Really good eyes up footy. Swooping around is Harira. They put the ball through the hand. Shepard links up with Sycamore and Meg. Pulls him back out. The penalty here to New Zealand. There's been a few occasions where Australia have been on their line. They've been caught not moving forward to the referee's liking. Yudamata Allen again, looking dangerous. Still touches up their sleeve here, New Zealand. Sycamore pulls him back out again. Shepard sweeps, straightens up. Susie comes up and makes the touch. Back in the midfield. Umar Allen plays it. Sycamore feeds it. Oh, the link hole was on there. Punching through nicely. Nawa Harira. Some really nice options there that New Zealand have identified from a right to left pass. If they can continue to set themselves up with a good platform, I think that they're going to find some more tries as the game progresses. Touch there from Sycamore. On Susie, does another good job. Gets contact on the ball, touch made. First, so Australia maintain possession. Rogers comes in field, no half in place here for Australia again. That's probably three occasions where they haven't been clean when changes have been made, and this is what happens off the back of it. It's so hard to recover. We're going back to halfway. It looks like they've found a penalty for having too many players on the field. They might have started from that excellent pressure that New Zealand applied around the halfway marks. So full credit to them. 
So good opportunity here for New Zealand, starting their set at the halfway line. They'll burn a couple of touches here as they get some changes out onto the park. Foster and Minton back together. Tarmody as well, who switches in. She'll play the ball outside the seven. Minton feeds it to Foster to take a deflection. And New Zealand will get another set of six here to attack the Australian line. It's really good to see them playing with a lot less fear. You know, really fearless. And they're not afraid of Australia tonight. It's great to see. Open side. They've got the numbers. Oh, Rackerman having to come in. Oh, they're going to take it away. You can only imagine it's come out of the hands forward. Either that or a touch and pass penalty. That was unlucky. Does it open up for him out here on the on the left hand side of the field? My my over the halfway line. A little bit cleaner this time around for Australia. Dibel switches in Duff. Davis. They go out to the short side and Duff has a dive at the line as Marty makes a good touch. Another forward pass call here from the referee. Really sharp eyes tonight from the officials who are working well as a team. Uh, equally working well as a team on their right edge there is the New Zealand defenders, a great touch there. Lifting off the line from Rebecca Tamari, uh, New Zealand now looking to work their way out of the uh, yardage. Punch through the middle. Now they come out to the left hand side, nice inside ball, gets them up. They're up in the box after that, they know that they can get good momentum coming out of that. It was great work from Trish Hopcroft. Off the left foot, fifth and final touch for them now. Tainui Takarai switching in out the back. And a tough ball to take there for Bria Hadfield. Contact on the first touch from Sosic. So rough it about. And it was a good point that you made before, Harlan, that they are playing without fear of this Australian lineup. You can just tell there's a completely different feel about the touch blacks tonight in this game. And they feel like they're up into their eyeballs with it at the moment. And they are. But Susie's gotten into the in-goal area and connects up. Has the touch been made? Yes, it has. And straight back onto the football as well. And they're ready to go. This is great positive play here from New Zealand. Yeah, definitely. They're, they may have less caps. They may have less experience. But they definitely have the same amount of energy and drive to, to will themselves to win this game. It's, it's an excellent attack here from New Zealand. Shepard. Running on with intent, ball in two hands, gets the ball back on the inside, nice roll into the line here, Sycamore kicks back out, they'll take their time now to set, Sycamore punches forward, Shepard a little bit flat footed there from Sycamore, tries to get the repeat set, they'll get the penalty which is the next best option for them. Really great pressure applied here from New Zealand, you could see the Australian defenders just holding back and the penalty was coming and it was well earned. The Sycamore, you can hear the calls of play on, play on, but they must have just made it back to the line. Sycamore back to the seven metre line. She's looking dangerous. Yeah, she is. She's really posing to be a good threat. She'll look to team up here with Miriam Amir Allen. Shepard off the right foot. They'll come back. Sideline referee. Winning the call. They'll get marched upfield a little bit further as well. Returning the ball to the mark. This helps Australia to get out of their end of the field after what feels like withstanding a, a weight of pressure, particularly defending their line. Sergeant comes forward to do some work. They'll be able to get their changes on cleanly. So well over the advantage line. Yes, feeds it to Rebecca Maimai. Early ball from Drew. Jeff tries to take the ball himself. Great touch. Nawai making a good one. Excellent touch there from Nawai Hawira. Sycamore. Nice pass. Down the sideline they go. They've been good in this area of the game where they've been transitioning and getting their fresh players onto the field. They're continuing that momentum. And you can see nice meters coming into the line here. Minton plays it. Foster has a look. Late ball at the line. Minton just too late. A fraction too late. The ideas are there. The execution is just a second slightly late. But it doesn't matter. It's awesome to see the effort and the attempt there. 
In the last five minutes, they've looked the better of the two teams, attacking the line in particular, and it's just been that, just like we said, pushing it right to the line, but off the back of that pressure, they're turning it on in defence as well. Definitely, especially as the ball transitions towards Australia's sub box. You can see Claudia Hannum there getting that turnover from New Zealand. She's doing a mountain of work in front of the sub box to really slow down the Australian attack. Charlie Foster goes forward. She'll come over for a breather. Kainui Takarai back out onto the field. The skipper, Yurumaya Allen, is out as well. Nice ball, finds it. They managed to get it away. No, again, just late. Touch and passes. Just not going in favour of New Zealand so far. But really positive play. Probably the other positive aspect, although there is a touch and pass, the passes are sticking. Once they're getting out there, they're getting themselves into position to be able to catch them. Just got to get the timing right. Yeah, that's correct. We had a lot of ball to ground last night, but it seems like they've managed to secure position really well this evening. Sergeant, to get on the outside of the defence and try and get them forward. Susie, it's a nice little pop-out play. Maddox comes in field. Nice job. Good defence in the middle. They're playing really well as a team. Playing very connected defence and it's making it really hard for Australia to get through. From half, penalty earned as well. Strong contact. And that's not just a reward on this set, but that's a reward for continual effort as they're working up the field. So well done to the touch blacks. Sycamore directing traffic yet again. Little pop out ball back on the inside as well. Harira outside. Shepherd running and will get it. They can't deny them this time around. And it's just a mountain of pressure that's been going in favour of New Zealand. And like we said, while it hasn't gone their way, their positive Ryan intent, the good football that Number they've two, been playing Australia, they Shepherd. just couldn't withstand the pressure Scores anymore. Yeah, you've got to earn the right. That's one thing that you hear from Peter McIntyre from the New Zealand box constantly as we can hear uh, as we're just above them. And they're earning the right. They're working their way down the field really well. Australia a little bit on the ropes here. So well done, New Zealand. Still in front on the scoreline, though. Australia up by one. 3-2. On the scoreboard. A big defensive set as the clock starts to wind down here in the first half for New Zealand. Jeff, she's been dangerous. Gets herself into the in goal area yet again. Any support. This time they come back at her. And the ball was away. We've got to play it down. Injury, yeah. What the Looks like Mia McCausland. She might have just taken her head as she hit the field I uh, had the ground there. Good to see her pop back up onto her feet. Tough as nails. Looks like it might be a repeat set here. I thought referee Campbell Muir indicating another full set. No, this is the fifth and final touch. He was just signaling that the game can restart. New Zealand. A little bit lateral on the first touch. Still two minutes to go here. Can they level up the scoring? All the momentum here with the touch blakes. Great run into the line yet again. Yumata Allen. It's Tainui Takarai. She gets good contact though from Jess and forces the mistake. That's experience. She's Rachel Jess is having the game. We see her get into the in goal area on a couple of occasions looking very dangerous but getting it done in defense on that occasion. Yeah, big ass, especially going from one end to the other. But definitely won the ruck there and the right to to get the ball back as Australia hit back. Claudia Hennam now making another strong touch on that right side. She's earning extra metres for New Zealand without them even knowing. And just away from Rogers there. Had to take a couple of steps to get over. Australia forced to realign as Dybal looks to go back on the inside. Carney picks it off and goes into clear space. Well, it just went everything was with New Zealand. Australia with their class players, Hannah Dybal. One of their most experienced players in the green and gold turns it back on the inside for, for again another very experienced player in Ash Carney. And they needed that to regain some control in this game, Harley. Yeah, that's right. And you can see the defence again, just a little bit too slow to lift off the line there. Uh, another follow play, which we've seen from both the open mix and the open women's tonight. So New Zealand will have to regroup and look to address that as they hit into the second half. Sosic feeds it back into Shepard. So she looks to sweep it. They go away from it. Sycamore on the run. Early ball. Harira. Space out here on the left-hand side. No. Unfortunate yet again. What's the call? And 
another touch and pass. So they're just, again, a fraction away, but they just got to get the timing right, don't they? That's right. It's a much improved effort from last night. The execution is there. It's just the timing this time. Dybul. Sub good metres. Feeds it out to Rogers. Comes back inside to Dybul. Hooter sounds in the background. And they come up and make the touch. Wow, what a first half. Between these two teams, Australia up on the scoreboard, but it feels a lot closer than what it actually is. 4-2 is the score going into the halftime break, but there was just a big chunk of that first half that New Zealand were right on top of the game. That's right. I think the middle part of the field, New Zealand's won this battle so far. Australia's been a little bit clunky as they're getting the new players back on. But with their clinical experience on the attacking end, they've been the difference with a two-point lead. Well, great first half. The second half, you feel there's going to be more to come. The series is on the line. Australia looking to wrap it up. New Zealand looking to take it to a decider tomorrow in Game 3. We're going to take a quick break here for half time, and we'll be back with the second half action in the Women's Open Game 2 from the Trans-Tasman Test Series. Local boy from here in Brisbane. Australia back underway off the restart. Sammy Joe Curtis, good contact there from Sycamore. You've got the Queensland connection out there at the moment, the Australians. Curtis, Susie, Maddock, who has the ball in hands now, fires it out. A little bit of a looping ball out to Rogers. Just didn't come quite cleanly out of the hands there, as Hayley Maddock would have liked. And they come back in towards the middle of the field now. Curtis will play it again. Now look to shape up again for Maddock. This time, oh, picked off. Oh, and went and held on to. Yudamaya Allen, Wow. Just gets clipped on the boots. Oh, my apologies. It was the number seven, Mia McCawson. What a big defensive play. Yeah, outstanding. She just sat in the lane and managed to grasp that ball, juggled it, and held on to it. A real difference maker in this game so far, Mia McCawson. Foster is going laterally as she came onto the field. They'll need to look to straighten up the point of attack here. Minton does do that now. Here's Yunmata Allen. He switches in. Nice, clean play the ball. Minton picks it up. Footwork looks for options over the head. Oh, Rackerman almost looked like she had to play at the ball and did. Repeat set here for New Zealand. The gate opened up in the middle there as the ball shifted. Ali Minton just missing the opportunity to go through the line, but still found the opportunity on the left hand wing. And a repeat set here for New Zealand. Let's see if they can make the most of it. My Allen ball over the top. Another penalty. Not moving forward, Australia. Can New Zealand strike early? It'll mind. Allen attacks the line. Jeez, that's close. How's the look up? The two captains coming together. Now we've got referees coming together here. Jordan Randall and Campbell Muir having a quick chat. They give it all clear. Yes. New Zealand strike first here in the second half. I must say, from where we are, we are a lot further away from the referees. It looked good from here. Yeah, it really did. She found the right space. We'll have a look at the replay as it pops up. And we can see it just here in the bottom-hand corner. She gets on the outside here uh, of Sammy Joe Curtis. We had a penalty prior because the players hadn't quite got to the line, so let's see if New Zealand can expose the, the defensive deficiencies from Australia as we go on. All right, great defensive read as well. Coming in and putting pressure on Ash Carney. New Zealand continuing on where they left off there in the first half. And it was McCausland again who came in and put that pressure on. So she made the big intercept play to start the game. And a great read. Good work from Sosic. They're on the front foot here. Tanui Takarai plays it. Receives early ball back. Oh, it's going to be late. They will get the penalty though. The pressure continues here on Australia. They won that middle of the field again. The Marnie Shepard with some amazing metres up in the middle of the field. And then Tainui Takere almost being able to finish that off with Bray Hatfield. Really exposing the middle defensive uh, efforts from Australia. Let's see what they can do now. Early ball. Tainui Takere attacks the line. And yes, New Zealand have gone back to back and they've leveled up the scores. Can you believe it? We have a game on our hands here. Locked up in game two of the Women's Open. They've figured it out. They've found a spot that works for them. The quickie, a uh, just really quick ball off the ground from Briar Headfield, steps back inside, finds the gap, players are offside, great try there for New Zealand. Australia, well they need something. 
to spark them in the second half. Great work. Sosic coming up, putting the pressure on. Ooh, getting done for hard contact. That's harsh because, I don't know, I just felt like Drew didn't really have much option there. By the time she looked up, there was a defender there, and it wasn't over aggressive. Yeah, that's correct. Her body position wasn't the best. Spacey wasn't necessarily in the most comfortable position to make an attack. Bond's right foot back to Jeffs, and a good coming in. As soon as Jeffs got the ball in hand, there's New Zealand player straight there to make the touch. Ruby McCausland again out on the right-hand link position. Getting it done defensively. Fylde skips on the outside and again McCausen gets her hands on the football to slap it down. She has a really good read for the game there, does. She's been able to stop in quite a few of these attacks and with Rachel Jeffs on the field, that's really important. Here she's ball in hand. Rachel Jeffs feeds it to Rebecca Mai Mai. Drew in half. They look to go down the short side. My my footwork. Nice work again. Good cover on the inside from Minton. Oh, picked off. Yeah, <laughs> might have just, just might jumped have the been game a little bit offside there. <laughs> but who else is it again? <laughs> McCausland again up in the line. You've already seen it take one intercept and run away with it. Can't get it this time around. Referees all over it. My my. And remember oh, that's right two penalties there, so New Zealand will be aware of that. They won't want a third. Jeffs and my mind working in the middle. They switch in. Madison Drew steps in, receives it back. Plays in motion here, folds, but they're going lateral. A little set play there for Australia attacking the line. They'll have to reset. Coming in towards the back end of the set. Folds sweeps around the back. Jeffs takes it right to the line and it opens up and. Mai Mai gets on the outside shoulder there of Sosic. And it took a little while, but Australia get their first try the here in the second half, and they're back up in front. Yeah, we'll have a look at the replay as soon as it comes up. But a really nice uh, platform that was established there by Madison Drew uh, and by Rachel Jeffs. They fake the sweep there, and then look to go back onto the right side. They find Rebecca Mai Mai just sitting in the right space at the right time. Great try again from Australia. Just holding off Jeffs again. It just looked like she had all the time in the world to take it right to the line. She's just been dynamic from the acting half position tonight. As Rachel Jeffs. So we'll see the touch made. Ball spewing out with a touch on the arm. Before the ball came out. Sycamore directing the traffic. Yeah, unclean play the ball there from New Zealand. You know, looking to try and get the penalty for a foot in the ruck. Matt it. Yeah, looking for the penalty, but she was caught upright. And that's a good call. New Zealand again continuing to be strong in defence, particularly in the ruck. There's good metres from Sargent, but no half in place. Maddox having to scramble to get to the football. Susie switches in Curtis. Early ball from Maddox. Sammy Joe on the run. Nothing there for them. Nice and comfortable in defence from and, Shepard. And a penalty awarded. It looks like another forward pass, so New Zealand will get the position of the ball again. Meters on the first touch. Sycamore has to go back to the mark. They've got to reset and try and get downfield. A bit flat on the first three touches here, New Zealand. They just get over the halfway line. Yeah, they can't afford to be comfortable here. They need to continue to hunt extra meters, and here we go with Skylar Tainui Takele on the ball. They turn the ball over. Out right of the fingertips there, Fry Hadfield. Important for New Zealand. Turn to a defensive mindset now. Try to keep Australia down, and that'll help. Nice defensive read from Hotcroft coming in from the wing. Rackerman picks up the meters. That's ball. Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> My first instinct was ball down. Thought they won the roll ball. It, it's a tough one. It looked like Catherine Sargent was coming to the side. It's quite easy. You don't need much force to try and put the body was already moving in that direction. Yeah, and the ball was on the ground before she'd bent over. So yeah. another kind of key tip to, to look for. Duck now. Plays it. It's Dival. Feeds it to Carney. Good defence forcing the Australians to retreat. 
Davis. Out for the Dybal on the run. They're in trouble here, New Zealand. Out to Rogers. Back to back tries for Australia. Just pushes them back out now by two tries. You often see at this level if there's a penalty given. More often than not, especially from the middle of the field onwards, it can lead to tries. So if New Zealand can tidy up those little one percenters in the middle of the field, it'll help reduce the, the likelihood of, of additional tries here from the Australian side. You can see it was just a beautiful out ball and Dybul was running out. Just getting on the outside defence. Lovely play. Tamari comes back to play it. In from half, Minton sweeps, comes off the left foot. Marty plays it. Bit of space out here. Nice work coming off the right foot. Files. Now we're call calling for the offside. Freeze had vindicated. Lucia Files was onside and now New Zealand. Not returning the ball back. So this is an important facet of the game for New Zealand now. On Australia have gone back-to-back -back tries. They need to stay in this contest. Yeah, the momentum has definitely swung back to Australia. If New Zealand can lift here defensively, they might be able to, to win it back. Changes onto the park for Australia. It's Maddox just holds the ball up. And so additional players sweep around the back. We run into the line, solid contact. Fantastic Good call. touch. Great call. And that's exactly what they need. They need to continue to be strong in defence here. Force those mistakes and get the ball back. And you get such a lift when you see good contact like that. And the rubber of the green is going in your favour and you regain possession for your team. Great ball from Sycamore. Shepard gets it down. You're looking to set up. Shepard comes it back on the inside. Just throws it straight back in to Kim Susi. Not played out is the call. Yeah, Shirley are taking their time to regroup and slow the ball down. Just to catch their breath. New Zealand really getting them moving backwards. Oh, yeah. You can just see that as it came out of the hands there of Kinsusi. It was half, looked like it was going to go out to one of the back players, but might have just caught in the corner of her eye that she was already progressing into the interchange area. And Maddox having to stick the hand out, comes off the fingertips. This is a good opportunity and good field position here for New Zealand. And they're identi identifying players here, New Zealand. You know, Allen off the left foot. Sammy Joe makes the touch. Tony Takarai in the middle of the field. Hadfield sweeps, gets it back. Early ball, nice ball on the outside. Hopcock had work to do. It's just come out of the hands forward. Nice variation there with the sweep and an even better long ball. Unfortunately, the ball just had to go a little bit forward from the hands and Australia will get the penalty in the middle of the field. Again, you can see Australia just taking their time to come back here and take the tap. A little bit of gas out of the legs here of the Aussies. Still plenty of time on the clock in this game. Sergeant over the halfway line. Files puts it out the back. Nice read there from Itamaya Allen and forces the mistake yet again. And this is where New Zealand can shift that momentum back into their favour by getting those defensive ruck wins. So a great win there from Edomir Allen. Great inside ball there from Popcroft as well. Keeps him on the front foot. Causland. Popcroft looking for support as Minton makes her way out onto the park. Foster picks up and goes. No numbers. They'll make the change at the same time. Okay, lock them in, lock them in. Carter, Carter Neal, still making her way out onto the field. Yeah, a little confusion there, but the option was on, so it's good to see Charlie looking for that pull. My my on the first touch. Jeffs plays through the middle of the field. As Drew now puts it through the hands to Fault. Jeffs takes another run forward before offloading to Rackerman. Dive along the switch to Duff. Davis picks up. Looks to go down the short side this time. Great recovery in defence though from Ellie Minton. This held her space. Held her nerve as well. Waited till she was onside. Followed. And Danny Davis makes the touch. Nice inside ball. 
You've got to continue to punch forward, New Zealand. No half in place. And look at the wave of defence. Under pressure. Managed to get the ball away to Sosic, but they're right on the ropes. Sycamore sends it back infield. They've recovered nicely here. They need to clean play the ball, which they get. Sycamore on the back foot. They switch, and Australia just holding. They're forcing New Zealand to go back, and they turn the ball over. Let themselves down a little bit on that attacking play as they were working towards the sub box. Just a little bit of miscommunication from New Zealand. Didn't get the, into the set that they probably wanted. Let's see if they can hold up Australia here. The meters from Carney. It's Maddock now. Tucks the ball under. Curtis. Good contact on her again. Play on to the call. Susie, and this is the fifth and final for them. They've lost their way here. Nice little switch out the back though. Maddock goes to Rackerman, switches in. And like we saw in the previous play now, Australia, like New Zealand, struggling to get going forward and they're losing metres on that fifth and final oh. out in front of Meg. Handing it to Australia on a platter here. Kim Susie now in a great position to strike with another try for Australia. Let's see if New Zealand can lift. Just under five minutes to go. This is a huge defensive set here for the Touch Blacks. Sammy Joe feeds it. Files. Almost skips on the outside. That was a good touch. Had some work to do. Curtis plays it. No one there at home for Susie. She got touches up their sleeve to reset. She plays it now as Files on the run, takes it to the line, can't find a target. They'll come back for the penalty though. Really great defensive read by New Zealand there. Zoe Sausage in the right space to make that touch and earn the ball back. Here she is taking the ball forward. A little bit flat. Hopcroft sends it back out to Sausage. Just shy of the halfway line. They roll over now with Irumaira Allen. Tanui Takarai. Hadfield gets away from Susie and the inside ball doesn't connect. Australia back on the restart. Two try advantage to the Emus. Looking to wrap up the series. One eye on the clock now for both teams. Three and a half minutes to go in this one. It's going to take a mighty effort from New Zealand. But they've been fighting and scrapping Every minute of this fixture, six touch for Australia, losing the count. They've got to get onto the football here. Yeah, really uncharacteristic for them. Usually very clinical about when they're setting up on their attacks. And New Zealand done a good job again. But it's this part of the game that they really want to win back. They're just getting a little bit caught up here it's as just, they transition in. Just gone away from them though, hasn't it? Just that transition out. They were clinical in the first half and that's just probably the one little error well, not really error, but they just haven't been as clean as what they want. Minton looking for offside players. Oh, six touches the call. Looking for that penalty to try to get the repeat set. Dible. They're hoping for a penalty. New Zealand try and get the possession back. Carney forward. McCausland comes up out of the line again. Really disrupting that. Oh, it's unfortunate. Again, just the timing. Mm. Just off. But it was a great read because Australia were on the ropes. They were there to be picked off. My my plays it. Here she comes up out of the line again. This time got the timing right. And she meets the brick wall that is Mia McCausland. She's shaking a little bit. And it just puts that little bit of doubt in their mind, doesn't it? That they'll probably switch back the other way because every time they go down that left-hand side, which is on the field, you know that she's going to be right up in your face. A little bit of confusion from the box. I think that was screaming for a dummy half, but the play continues against... Uh, by, by Australia there, and New Zealand managed to shut down the attack again. They've got to get down the other end here, New Zealand. A minute and a half to go in the game. They're down by two. They're fighting to keep the series alive. There's players in the ruck everywhere. 
And they finally get the rub of the green that they were looking for. The ruck penalties, of course, will also advance forward 10 metres, so another extra bonus there for New Zealand. Well, they've really got to get on the move here and try to get down the other end. 60 seconds left to go on this one. They can't really take their time to strike when you're down by two. Can they get themselves into a position to go? Here it is. Shepard looking for offside players. They don't get it. they got to get back. Sycamore from half. Switches in. Sausage. Who plays it. Sycamore picks left foot. Skips away from one. Oh, is looking back on the inside. They will get the repeat set. But this is just valuable time off the clock here for Australia. Oh, they've changed Oh, the they've decision. turned it over. They've changed. Well, it was def. The first call was definitely six to go. Well, that's unfortunate for the touch blacks. In the repeat set, and they're trying to force the mistake to try and regain possession. They give away the penalty. Unfortunately, the clock has gotten away from New Zealand. Australia have won the Women's Open. The Trans Tasman here in 2023. But my word, New Zealand, they made them earn that victory. What a performance from them. They'll be really proud of their performance, perhaps. Aspects in that second half, New Zealand will want to tidy up. But full credit for Australia, another some really exceptional performances, but New Zealand really pushed them all the way to the end. Oh, what a game. What an amazing game of Women's Open Touch Football. We have just witnessed, we hope you enjoyed the game.